Okay, we are on graphical method of solving quadratic equation. From the name graph, so we are going to use graph now to solve any quadratic equation. Okay, remember, a quadratic equation is, is any equation of this form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So since this is the quadratic equation, and if you could remember, our quadratic function is written y equals y equals ax squared plus bs plus c. So if you compare now, this is our quadratic function. So y is 0. And in, math, in, in mass, y equal to 0 is our x-axis. If you remember, another name for x-axis is equal to y equal to 0. So this is just the point of intersection. So to, to, to solve this using graphical method means plot the graph, plot y. So plot y equals a x squared plus b s plus c. So where it intersects the x axis is the solution. So do you get, since our quadratic function is y equal a s squared plus b s plus c, and our x axis is y equal to 0. So once you've plotted y equals a s squared plus b s plus c, where it intersects the x axis is down the solution. So see what I'm saying. Let me use just a sketch. So I'm saying that if you are giving... So I'm saying that if you draw So this is my y axis and this is my x axis. So if you draw the graph This is my y equals a s squared plus b x plus c. So the point of intersection, this x axis, so you call it y equal to zero. So the point of intersection is the solution. So these are the solutions. So this solution, solution one and solution two. So that's it. So once you've plot once you plot y equals a s squared plus b s plus c, and it, it has, and it intersects the x axis, the, the where at that point is the solution. So assuming here is a and b, our solution is a and b. So that's it. So let's now solve. Let's go over to the equation. So example, if you are given, we are asked to solve this. To solve this. 12 minus a minus x squared plus x plus c equal to zero by a graphical method. So the first the first thing here we need to graph y equals minus a minus x squared plus x plus c. So we'll, we'll graph this. And in graphing this we need a table of value. So we need to draw a table of value and in drawing a table of value we need some interval some x interval to get the corresponding y interval so what we have to do i always ch choose a poly that's i will choose from i always choose maybe from minus three to three so i always use at least use at least six or seven points because the more points you have the better the graph and use equally space so if you notice this is minus three this is three so I, I started from minus three to three so let's now plot it let's now construct a table of value using this so the first thing is okay this is minus three minus two minus one zero one two and three so that's my x uh, value. So we now use it to complete the y value. So 
So let's now fill up the, the, the table using y equals minus x squared plus 6. So when we start from, from uh, we, let's start with minus 3. So when x is minus 3, y is now minus minus 3 squared plus minus 3 remember to use your bracket well so minus 3 squared is 9 so minus 9 this is minus 3 so minus 9 minus 3 is minus 12 so minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6 so y here is minus 6 again when when x when x is minus 2 y is now minus minus 2 squared plus minus 2 plus 6. So minus 2 squared is 4. So minus 4 minus this is minus 6. So minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So this is 0. When x minus 1, y is now minus minus 1 squared plus minus 1 plus 6. So again, minus 1 squared is 1. So minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Minus 2 plus 6 is 4. So let's finish up before we... When x is 0, y is minus 0 squared plus 0 plus 6. It should be 6. When x is 1, y is minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 6. So minus 1 plus 1, so we have 6 again. When x is 2, y is minus 2 squared plus 2 plus 6. This is 2 squared 4. So minus 4 plus 6 is minus 2. So minus 2 plus 6 is 4. So when x is 3, finally, y 3 squared plus 3 plus 6. So minus 3 squared is 9, minus 9. So minus 9 plus 3 minus 2. So this should be 0 also. So that's okay. Let's fill up the the table. Zero four. So this is zero. Zero four six six four. Yes, check minus six zero four six six. So this is our table now. So let's now go over to the graph. So, okay, we are on the graph now. So, see the, gra the graph book. So, let's now plot the, these values. So, we need to locate our x and y axis. So, the, f the first axis here, let's... So, let me... So that's my y. So these are y axis. So these are our x and y as is. So this first one is. 
So this is the origin. So remember from the table. Okay, from this, the maximum is 3 for x, Why the minimum is minus 3. So let's locate the... But well, before then, let's write the... This y axis, y this x axis. So let's locate this 1, 2, 3. Okay, if you remember, one, one of the box is 1 cm. So this 5 ticks. One. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is minus 1, 1, 2, 3, minus 2, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. So let's look at for x, for y. The maximum is six why the minimum is minus six so but here if we count one two three it won't be enough so why not less this three why this is so down here we have minus three and minus six so but there's a problem here we need to get each of these grid lines the value so how do you get it? There is a simple way to do that. We just three. That's we are moving three three intervals. So three over. What's the total grid line? We have a lot. We have ten. Ten of them. So each of these grid line for y as is zero point three or three over ten. So we have to do it this way because between six minus six and six there is still four there. So we need to locate four. That's why I need I calculated each of the grid line, and each of them is for y axis is three over ten. Also for x axis you can still calculate it one over fifteen. Each of them because we move in table of one one. Why the total grid line to each is fifteen? So each of them is 15, one over fifteen. So let's now locate the point. The first one when x is minus three y is minus 6 okay so this is the value when x is minus 3 y is minus 6 so that's the point so the second one when x is minus 2 y is 0 so i think in, that's the point on the x axis again when x is minus 1 y is y is 4 so that is where we locate the 4 now so let's now locate 4 so remember i told you each of the grid line for y as is is 3 over 10 that's 0 0.3 so meaning that for me to locate 4 we now have to do 4 over 0 0.3 this should be 13.33 grid lines Remember, I told you each of the grid line is 0 0.3. So for me to locate 4, I need to divide 4 by 0 0.3 so that I don't get the total. So if you check, okay, when x is minus 1, so I will count to 13 point. This is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 should be here. 13 point something. So that is our 4. So the next one, when x is 0, y is 6. So that should be on the axis. So again, when x is 1, y is 6. When x is what? y is 6, so this should be the point. So what, again, when x is 2, y is 4. So the same thing here, remember that we have to count 13, so 13.3. So this is 1, 2. So this is the point. So again, when x is 3, y is 0. So this should be the point. So let's now join our points.
That's it. We are joining the points. So that's our point. Let's make it bolder. So that's our point. We've joined the curve. So we need to write the the the, the name. That's the, the function. So the next is to name the graph. The, the function this is y equals minus x squared plus x plus 6 okay from this remember I told you this, this the solution of any quadratic equation by graphical method is the point of intersect that's the inter, point of intersection of x axis and the curve remember the curve is minus x squared plus x plus 6 so from here our answer is that's the solution so the answer is minus minus 2 and 3 so this is our solution so that's it